everyone, how are we doing today? We are here in the Lafayette and Mulligan household because I realized that last time we didn't really get to explore much of their parenthood after we adopted their new children. So that's what I want to do today. But before we jump into that, I want to talk about the vote of today's episode. So in the last episode, I got two suggestions for uh, things that could happen in the following episodes. Uh, and the comment is by Angelica Schuyler, but I love anime, great name. Uh, and it says, can the lambs kid situation happen? Also, we need an Angelica and Butler date. So the, today's vote is gonna be between those two options and it's gonna be a vote on which one happens in the next episode. So if you want the lambs kid situation to happen in the next episode, make a comment and include the hashtag Hashtag lambs baby and if you want the Angelica and Butler date to happen in the next episode make a comment and include the hashtag hashtag Angelica X Butler and also don't forget to comment what you want to see in the next episode so we can vote on it next time. So luckily Lafayette has a job that makes him able to work from home so he can take care of the kids while <laughs> Mulligan is off doing his spy business with Angelica as a co-worker. Aww! George Washington, congratulations on the new addition to the family! That's adorable! Maybe we should invite him over because Lafayette and, and Washington are actually very close uh, and one of their babies is named after him. <laughs> so maybe you should meet him, right? Maybe? Let's invite him over. We haven't seen much of George either. He doesn't really get invited to many things. Uh, invite to hang out at current lot, shall we? So let's greet George Washington. Let's invite him in and let's show off our baby. Oh my God, he's thinking about, wasn't, wasn't he thinking about William? Was that little thinking cloud, not William, was it? Oh, adorable. I feel like George Washington would be so happy to know that we have a baby named after him because like he gets excluded in this last play at least at so many things and he's always like walking around and we always see him so i feel like he'd be like really really happy um let's ask about his career we really should work on making george the president now in his career maybe that's a suggestion for a future episode uh he's a, currently a civil servant at concerned citizens of my Shuno. Can we show off the baby? I think that's in the crib, isn't it? Bottle feet, make silly face, more choices. Show off to George Washington. Also, please ignore that I completely changed the room just for the sake of taking better screenshots. So something is happening. What are we doing? Bouncing. Do we not need to like change dirty diaper? That's probably it. Is Washington still here? Is he? He didn't really show up. That seems like an important moment. Did you change the diaper? No, we're just gonna show up. Oh, William, hi. How are you doing? Are you having fun in your new home? Tell a funny story, maybe? While we wait for Washington. Oh, How is this so adorable? Oh, there he is. Oh, and there he's gone again. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Aww, he wants to he wants to become a parent. Read oh, I didn't even remember giving him this. Read to a child for a total of two hours and socialize with your child ten times. I really didn't remember giving him any of this. What is he gonna do? Play with dolls? <laughs> Wait, no. Why isn't this working? What <laughs> Okay. Just a second. <laughs> expecting to see <laughs> this wasn't it <laughs> oh my god what he's just 
to taking a relaxing bath with a face mask <laughs> in his friend's home. In his friend's home who just had a baby. <laughs> it's almost as if this let's play couldn't get any more ridiculous. But you know what? Washington, he found a way. He found a way. He did it. Okay, since my sims just like to do whatever they want, I'm actually gonna add him to the family. Are you actually gonna meet? Yeah, he's gonna bounce the baby now. Oh, I guess Lafayette is on it already. Already, Lafayette is killing this. Really? He's really doing well. I kind of expected him to be the disaster, but it ends up that Washington is just a disaster in this situation. He is meeting the baby. It's happening. Aww. Cute. Lafayette. Um, I don't know. Does he need to do some work? Update social media network profile two times. Well, you know what? He has a lot to update on. So we can just... Social networking. I actually said right at the first one. We can advertise. Advertise minor product. Ah. So now we have the fame thing. Share an image. Yes, share an image of your baby. That always does well. <laughs> Most unethical advice ever. Let's use our babies for fame. What? What? Are they call? Did they just call our babies boring? Excuse me. <laughs> All these haters delete social media profile. No, okay. Um, update social media status. Let's go. I just had a baby. Actually, comment below what you think Lafayette is writing, writing right now. With a little bit of luck and perfect timing, your social media status updates has intrigued the world. Marquis has gained 20 followers. He now has 280 followers in total. On the road to fame. I actually haven't explored the get famous pack at all. I have no idea how it works, but. Here we are. He has a neutral reputation. Maybe advertise. We can advertise for a minor product. Is that going to give us money? Probably, right? This is fun. Marquis has sold out for a, sold out for a profit of 500 simoleons. But maybe you shouldn't do that again. You lost... What? 143 followers? That's so many. But we did gain 15 more by updating. 143 <laughs> That's a lot I thought we were kind of okay with The whole advertising Oh someone is angry Why are you angry? You're critically low from hunger Whoops <laughs> Kind of forgot you had the feet toddlers I'm sorry Okay let's put William in the chair Let's give food to William. What are we giving him? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Sounds good. Let's go. <gasps> Peggy! Hi, Peggy! You want to come in? Hey, there's Milligan! Welcome back, Milligan! Promoted to intelligent researcher. Good job! Look at you go, Milligan! I'm pretty sure you're, he's gonna be happy to be home. And seeing his husband taking care of his new children. Doing his best and also working as a social media star. Are you going to be happy again, William? Is there anything else he needs? Oh, he needs to use the potty. He can just pee in his diaper. <laughs> I'm not about potty training. <laughs> okay, let's uh, remove Washington from the household for now before he takes more bats on our, <laughs> on, on, on our money budgets. <laughs> And let's see. So the final thing that Lafayette needs to do today is become playful. And I'm pretty sure if he just plays with his toddler a bunch, he's probably going to become playful, right? So maybe we'll go outside and... Oh, look how pretty. Flowers on the ground and everything. And we'll go here. Or not. Is there anywhere? Wait, we'll go here. <laughs> This is where we, we're getting sunlight. And we'll play with William for a bit. So we're getting playful. It's probably going to take a little while longer for William to get there. But I'm sure he'll make it. Right? What's the season? It's cool and windy. What season are we in? It's spring. Okay. So it's 
So I guess it will be okay. Maybe I should have picked him up. Oh, Angelica, hi. All the Skyer sisters are walking by. Maybe they're just checking, making sure that they're not making an absolute disaster. Okay, let's hug him lovingly. Hi, Angelica. How are you doing? Oh, she actually, she looked at him. She didn't look at Lafayette, though. I think they're really checking. I think the Skyler sisters are just walking by just in case they're not doing so great with the new children. But they're, they're doing fine. Oh, Lawrence would like to come over. Yes, of course. Come over. All the, all the Hamilton Sims are checking on them. That's so cute. Okay, actually do the thing you're supposed to do now, please. Aww. Okay, well, I guess... You also need to pee. Uh, not anymore. I guess we can change the diaper. Oh, Marquis just became good friends with William. So change the diaper first and then play. What playful things? Play. Oh, he's playful already. <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything. Well, at least. Oh, so adorable. And he's also interacting. He socialized with his child ten times, so now he only needs to read to him for two hours. Oh, oh. <laughs> the diaper changing isn't going great yet, but that's okay. <laughs> Not everything can go great in one go. Uh, I really like this interaction. It's really cute. So now Lafayette is off to change George Jr.'s diaper. And there we have Mulligan <laughs> looking pretty worn out from his day at work. But I mean, for a first day for Lafayette as kind of like a, a single dad for a little bit while his husband was at work, I will say that that went pretty well. Nothing disastrous happened. We're in a hedge. <laughs> Nothing disastrous happened. He took care of everything. He still did his job. He performed all of the things he was supposed to do with his job. And here we have John Lawrence who came over and is making them some drinks. Helping out. <laughs> because obviously they would want some drinks. So we're going to add him to the family. He needs to calm down. He's very playful right now. Uh, and I'm going to have... Lawrence meets William. Lafayette just kind of left his child out here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you know, it's a good thing that Lawrence showed up because he can pick William up and bring him back inside. But maybe that's that will be even a little more motivation for him and Hamilton to have children. Here we have little William waiting for his caretaker to come pick him up. So don't forget to vote on what you would like to see next time with the hashtag lambsbaby and hashtag angelica x butler and also don't forget to give me your suggestion of what you want to see in other future episodes and that's going to be it for today so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you very soon goodbye